Good morning. It's Thursday, September 16th. Good morning. I want to talk about the second big lie. There's a big lie, a second big lie raging through this country. And it has to do with the voter suppression laws that are being put in place. And they're being put in place with the chant, easy to vote, hard to cheat, which is about as far from the truth as you can get. The real slogan for this event should be, got beat, now we cheat. Because I tell you that the voter suppression that we are seeing in this country is unheard of. It's at the level that will destroy democracy. It's at a level that will make people think about whether or not their vote really counts. It is so bad. The situation has become so bad in many states. I'm not sure what the number is. The number changes because each time you look around, another state has added something. But there are at least 18 states that have put into place laws that are restricted, laws that have caused their election officials to resign. There are many, many resignations of election officials going on in this country. And that's a disaster because the professionals the who know how to run elections are being driven from their posts. They're being driven from them, their posts by these restrictive laws that have turned over the responsibility for the leg, for the elections to the legislators, to the state legislators, to the politicians, to the people who have no allegiance to the truth. They have allegiance only to the party. And that's what this is all about, the party. And in this case, the party is the GOP, the grand old party. And they got beat bad in the presidential election. And they have convinced 74 million or so people that the election was a fraud, that Biden's group cheated during the election. And the unfortunate thing is that these people believe it. We have people in this country who believe that kind of crap. Now, elections should be easy. There are a couple of rules that should be abided by. Be a citizen. Be a resident of the state you're voting in. Have proof of that. And that's the end of it. Then you should be allowed to vote. Beyond that, it doesn't matter. And all the voting rules should be very similar. The amount of time it takes to be a good citizen and a voter should be the same in every state. We take five days to vote, ten days to vote, whatever it is. We allow mail-in ballots. We make sure that those ballots are filled out correct. We don't allow the poll watchers to be partisan members of the party. You shouldn't even know what party the poll watcher belongs to. The poll watcher is a professional. He should be doing his job. So all of these things have been piled into this one crappy slogan. Easy to vote, hard to cheat, which is so far from the truth, it's nauseating that we could perpetrate this big lie and so many in this country believe it's a disgrace, a fucking disgrace. And so let me tell you a couple of things that are going on around this country. Maybe this will awaken you to the disaster that our democracy is facing. Teen states are restricting the ability to vote by mail. In one of those states, they would eliminate the ability of voters other than military voters to automatically receive a mail-in ballot. States in this category are going to make it very difficult for absentee voters to obtain any assistance in submitting their ballots. Because let's face it, most of the people who ask 
for an absentee ballot. And do so because they are elderly or ill or there is some other reason and they need help. Ten states have created new or stricter voter ID requirements. What could you possibly need? More than, I live in this state, I'm a citizen, I can read and write. What more do you need to know? Are we going to suppress people because they're fat or they're ugly or they're short or they're tall? What other voter ID requirements do we need? It's all BS. It's just an excuse to keep people out of the ballot box. This, if you can. There are six states that want to expand the voter purge practices. They want to create other reasons to take people off the voting rolls, to make them disappear into space. I think one of the real purging that they want to do is get rid of the Democratic voters or the independent voters. This is a disgrace. There should be standard procedures for these things that every state uses. It's not that I make it up because we have too many Democrats in my state or too many Republicans or too many independents or too many people who are too young to vote or too old to vote. No matter what they say, this is not easy to vote hard to cheat. This has got beat. Now we cheat. There are states that are going to increase the barriers to voter registration. They won't allow you to vote or register to vote on the day of voting, on election day. You have to register in advance. I don't have a big problem with that particular. But then you have to produce a voter ID or ID number when registered to vote. And, and that's okay, too. That's okay, too. I want to vote. I show you my voter ID if you give me one. It's okay. I don't have a problem with people getting a voter ID in advance and everything. But I want to make sure that everybody gets a voter Anybody that's old enough to vote and is a citizen and lives in the state should have a voter ID. That's not a problem. But they are making it a problem. They're also limiting the number of ballot boxes and the placement of ballot boxes so that you can't. So it's difficult to find a ballot box. Or the ballot boxes are too many miles away from too many voters. And we all know about the banning of food on the line. They can't get a drink of water from anybody. We know about that. That was a big to-do. And then they're limited in the hours, the voting hours. There should be standards. There are working people. Why don't we give everybody election day off to make it easier for people to vote instead of reducing the hours so they can't vote? And in many states, they want to do away with early voting or limit the days or hours that you can vote. So all in all, this cry, this so-called slogan that is really the second big lie, easy to vote, hard to cheat, is a load of crap. And as I said before, it really should be, got beat, now we cheat, or don't stress, we suppress. And I'll leave you with that this morning. It's Yom Kippur, a day of atonement, a day to reflect on your sins of the past year or so, if you have any would wish that all of these people who are changing the voting rules would be reflecting. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.